Hey everybody, just going to show you, I just had some tenants move out, we're going to do a walk through of the apartment. Um, number one, here's a tip for you, I like to use these keys and say uh, do not duplicate. I got my own key machine and everything, I make my own, but when I, when I rent an apartment out to a tenant, I give them two of these. That way you can kind of control uh, who's got access to your apartment. If you accidentally rent to a bad person, which anybody in this game or this business will do, it will happen. You want to limit the amount of keys they can hand out to their buddies, by, you know, that type of stuff. Anyway, so we're going to do a walkthrough. So there's some cardboard they left. There's a big old stain there that they left in the carpet. I'm going to have to try and get out, hopefully. And this carpet needs shampooed. But I have my own commercial shampooer. So that's okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, they left a curtain here and they ruined this blind, but these aren't too bad at Walmart or wherever. See how they, the whole bottom of it come apart there. So that's okay. And then they got push pins in the walls here all over. That'll have to be fixed. Here they had a TV mounted, I believe. Looks like they patched the wall. The wall patch don't look too bad, but they tried to match the paint. Obviously, they couldn't. I have this exact color, so that won't be a problem. Overall, it looks pretty good. I'm actually happy with it. There's that blind they, they got. And again, that's not a big deal. Um, here, kind of bothers me though. Looks like underneath that light switch, if you look real close, they uh, kicked a hole in the wall or punched a hole in the wall and they attempted to repair it, which is fine, but it just bothers me. Why, why do that? So that's kind of weird. And um, the patchwork's not real good. See the roughness? I think I can sand that down. Maybe do a coat over the top, scrape, uh, scrape tile, a skip trowel, I guess, texture over the top there. I'll give it a try and then paint it to match. But... Uh, Obviously, they're going to be charged out of their deposit a little bit for that, for my time. Bathroom looks pretty good. It's just a stand-up shower. Right here, little one. They didn't clean it either, so I'll have to clean it. But that's okay. Other than that, it looks good. I did turn the water off to the toilet because of the flapper was stuck. So when I pulled it open... Looks like they tried to paint there, but that's just ordinary wear and tear in that. Um, closet looks okay. That's an access panel to the shower controls. So, in here, this is the kitchen. Get that light on for you. And of course, they did some push pins in the paneling here. That kind of bothers me because it's paneling, but it'll be okay. A little bit of caulking and paint patch nail there but I'll leave that hopefully the next tenant uses it doesn't move it they always seem to move them a little shelf there um, kitchen sink it's got some dirt in it that they left behind you know just a little bit of cleaning but not bad faucet's still working good they left the floor mat some stuff under there. Not too bad though. Not too bad. Refrigerator. So. This building was rewired in 2004. All new uh, breaker panels, all new meters. So can't argue with that. All brand new power. I like it. The old cabinets are still in here. They need to be upgraded at one point. Someone painted them green. I've left it over the years. So they're not bad. This is a soffit. That's hiding the drain lines from upstairs. They all tie into four inch and run through. It took me a while to figure it out how they drain down. There's a few of these in each of the downstairs apartments. So overall the apartment's not bad, just dirty. Needs cleaned. Here's the kitchen shot. And let's see the living room shot. 
The rug's not too bad. A friend of mine patched this carpet. You know who you are. Right over there. You can't even tell where he patched it. Worst case scenario, I might have him back to patch it again to get rid of that. So, smoke detector. If they tamper with it, that's a minimum, I believe, $250 fine in this state, Oregon. They did not. Or they're at least smart enough to put it back afterwards. I have tenants that aren't, that have moved out before, but these ones are pretty good. I've gotten better at my screening over the years. Hot water heat. Um, they left some cardboard there. I might have already said that. So overall, shampoo. Put a new flapper in the toilet. Scrub it down. Patch and paint. Luckily I have this paint color. Uh, eventually, the rave is agreeable gray. So I've been with white bases, white trim like that. So my thought is eventually, if I have to start repainting whole apartments, we're going to go agreeable gray. That's what everybody in the landlord game has been doing. I actually had a guy that lived in this apartment. If you notice that door there, the trim is a different color on the edge. It wasn't painted right here. He moved out and he, uh, this door, believe it or not, the old one was laying here on the floor, broken in half. And uh, might be able to find a picture of that to add to this video. And he was wanting to know, why aren't you giving me back my deposits? Like, dude, you kicked my door in half and left it laying in here in the middle of the bedroom, plus other stuff. Can't remember it all now. I've been through a lot, but I've gotten better at my screening. So, anyway, I'll, uh, this is an old patch uh, before my time, but I might uh, sand it a little bit and do some skip trial match since I got to deal with this one over here anyway. So, other than that, not too bad, not too shabby. Um, I hate it when you have to do turnovers, they cost you money and time. Time is money in the landlord game, uh, holding costs, etc. etc. I did that mount one day because the way the pipe was, it was loose. And I kept thinking, man, with tenants and stuff, I don't like that. They're going to break that pipe off under the building. So, what I did is uh, just stack blocks and then painted it. So, works out great though, as you can see, you can't move it. So, I like it. So, anyway, this uh, video also will serve as good documentation for. Um, they'll get their deposit back, but uh, they'll be charged a cleaning fee and or a uh, fee for the touching up the paint there and patch and a couple of the blinds. But overall, it's not bad. I'm happy with it. So, um, just looking around to see if there's anything else. This one has this cute little stove. I like it. Tiny little thing. It's not too bad. So... Everybody has a unit from hell, kind of, I guess they say. And this unit kind of is my unit from hell. It's gotten better over the years. I've been better with uh, screening, but the worst, you know, was this unit. I actually had a guy move out one time and hand his keys over to some crackhead lady. She moved in. I show up. You're not my tenant. You need to get out. Oh, no, I got tenant rights. So I got to go to the court and evictor. I don't even know her name. So I'm asking the lady at the, at the court, and they won't tell you. They say, we can't give you any advice. Here's some of my applications. I've showed the unit a couple times already. <coughs> and uh, they say, you can't, uh, we can't give you legal advice. So I finally Googled it, and I realized you've got to put Jane Doe and all other occupants. So I actually evicted her as Jane Doe and all other occupants. Cost money to get her out, but I did get her out, so... I learned the hard way. I don't know if the autofocus on this is picking them up, but there's a thumbtack here and here. Well, these aren't bad. I prefer these. They're easier to change. I'm sure better than 16 penny nail, which, uh, believe it or not, they use a lot, people. There's some stuff up there. Sometimes when I see them high, I leave them and paint them in place. But sometimes I don't. I pull them because... You're just supplying them with nails because they're like, oh, I want my picture right here. So then they come up, pull the nail out, and boom. That happens a lot. 
So, but yeah, other than that, it's not bad. I'm happy with it. So, haven't done a video in a while. I figured I better get on it. So, there's an apartment next door that looks just like this one, very similar, a little bigger, layout's a little better. Um, I'm going to be working on too, so I'll probably film some of that. It's layout, you come in, living room, bathroom, kitchen, and then over here is the bedroom. So when you come in, this one, you kind of walk through the bedroom and into the bathroom. And a lot of people don't like that, because when they have guests over, you know, they have to come in through the front door, they're hanging out in the living room, whatever, and their guests come in, they have to come through their bathroom or their bedroom. So if they're, you know, a little embarrassed about, you know, they haven't kept their bedroom clean or whatever, they don't like that. So, but yeah, the one on this side, which this wall is actually on the other side, is the living room. Um, you come in, and it's a little different layout. You come in, boom, there's a door here. You got the bedroom over here, kitchen pretty much in the same spot, and then the bathroom. So it's a better layout, and people like that one more. Anyway, I'm going to do some work. I'm putting a new kitchen faucet in it, uh, and then I have uh, cleaning. I got a crawl space I added in there that I got to fix in the floor because this is a big building. It's uh, like 130 feet long, 140 feet long, so you don't like crawling when you come in one side, crawl the length of the building, so I've added crawl spaces and stuff. So nice tall ceilings. They're at least nine-foot ceilings, at least, so I like that. And uh, just a neat, strong old building. And uh, I ran them out this unit. I'm going to rent out 550. All utilities paid. I, um, except for internet, I don't provide internet. All these uh, apartments here, I got eight in this building, eight units. They're all metered separate for electricity. But uh, I found it's easier just to leave them in your name and then all utilities paid and rent them out that way because people like it better. They don't have to put electricity in their name. And it's a lot less hassle because every time they, uh, uh, they move out or whatever, you got to put the power back in your name and what a hassle. And uh, most of the time it's, they put it right back in. You know, they don't charge me a deposit or anything. But this apartment, when I had that crackhead take it over, uh, the last guy stopped paying the bill. I didn't put the electricity in my name for her while I was evicting her. That was her problem. So they turned it off. So every time I put this power in my name, they always are like, oh, you need to pay a deposit. And I'm like, no, that was someone else that lived here. And then they're like, okay, and then they put it in my name. So I found out. Um, I currently right now have 14 power bills in my name, 14 meters currently. So what a pain every month to pay those. But I do it. So I got a slew of utilities I pay every month. But that's okay. So... Anyway, I think you guys got the gifs of this apartment, and uh, I'm glad the tenants moved out, and it wasn't too bad. Sometimes they get bad, but lately I, I've really been lucky. I try to rent to people that are uh, professional-minded or uh, they're going to college, OIT, um, work at the hospital, that type of stuff, and it's been getting better. So anyway, also, I'm thinking about trying a Airbnb on these units. So if anybody's had any experience with that, you can leave me something in the comments. But yeah, I'm thinking about maybe Airbnb furnish this, couch, flat screen, bed, uh, you know, everything you need in the kitchen, nightstands, uh, and then doing the Airbnb, because I've heard a lot of people are doing that and making money. They can make 30, 40 grand a year just off one unit. Uh, housing wise you know maybe not this apartment but so I'm thinking about doing that too that's another option we'll see so anyway yeah I think that's it so thanks for watching see you on the next one